What you're looking at is a powerful ninja-like tool for creating low-cost, high-quality learning videos. That's right, it's a webcam. More specifically, this is the Logitech C920 webcam, one of the most popular and powerful webcams on the market. I'm a big fan of these little cameras. They can record full 1080p high-definition video as well as audio directly to your computer's hard drive through USB. It's also an excellent camera for live streaming. And last I checked, these cameras sell for under $100. A good quality webcam can be a versatile and cost-effective tool for creating high-quality learning videos if you know how to use it properly. If you want to get the best possible video out of these little cameras, follow these four steps. The first step to getting great webcam video involves lighting. I see this a lot, particularly in live streams. The person on camera is in darkness. That's because the main light source in the scene, in this case, the window back there, is behind the person on camera. See, webcams will automatically expose the shot based on the brightest thing in the frame. And in this case, it's the window back there. So in order to properly expose that window, the webcam will dial down the exposure, which puts me, the subject of the shot, into darkness. And that's not good. Unless you're going for that anonymous interview look. Now, this shot is much better, and that's because we've flipped around so that the window, the dominant light source in the scene, is behind the camera and facing me. So when you're using a webcam, make sure that the dominant light source in your scene is somewhere behind the camera and facing your subject. The next step to getting great webcam video involves nasal hygiene and the fact that your viewer has no interest in examining yours. Aside from giving your viewer an unwelcome look up your nose, this low angle makes you look a bit arrogant. It's not a flattering shot. Now, this shot is much more inviting, right? Well, that's because the webcam is now at my eye level, which builds an instant, more intimate connection with my viewer. So whenever possible, get your webcam to the eye level of your subject. The next step to getting great webcam video has nothing to do with video, actually, but it's something that can make your webcam footage feel way more professional, and that's good quality sound. Right now, I'm recording using the Logitech C920's built-in microphone. It's not horrible, but it sounds a bit distant, muddy, and overprocessed. Obviously, it's better than nothing. Now have a listen to this. Sounds better, right? Well, that's because now I'm using an external, inexpensive lavalier microphone, which I've attached to my computer using a USB adapter. You can also improve your sound quality by using an external desktop USB microphone. I'm recording right now using the Blue Yeti Pro USB microphone, placed just out of shot. If you want to drastically improve the quality of your webcam video, invest in a good external microphone. The fourth and final step to getting great webcam video is to take control of the camera. Let me show you what I mean. I'm just going to move around here in frame and see if this works. You can see how the camera is adjusting the exposure. If I get right up close, it's adjusting the focus and even the white balance. If I put my hand, you can see that focus, and which is great. It's following the action. This is called hunting. The camera's hunting for the best possible picture, depending on the conditions it has to work with. Problem is, it can be doing this constantly while you're trying to deliver your content, which can be distracting for your viewer. You can solve this problem using the software controls that came with the webcam. You can also get third-party webcam control software. The webcam software controls allow you to manually set and lock things like exposure, white balance, and focus, which stops the webcam from that distracting hunting so your viewer can concentrate on the content. The four steps I just outlined can really elevate the quality of your webcam video to the point where you could create the majority of your learning videos using just this camera. 
The Logitech C920 is one of the tools that I recommend for creating low-cost, high-quality video learning. Now, if you want to know the other tools that I recommend, then download my Video Learning Toolkit resource list. You can grab that right now by hitting the link on the screen or hitting the link in the description below. There's some really great tools on that list. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.